WordPress posts. Posts are part of WordPress. In fact, you can think of WordPress and blogging as one that cannot live without the other. The reason WordPress is popular is because of its ability to allow everyone, including you and me, to quickly publish blogs, as in blog posts. But we know we can do anything with WordPress, right? So by default, when you install WordPress, it has a sample post. We can edit it, quickly edit it, delete it, view it, just from this interface. Let's put that in the bin. Now that's in the bin. We can restore things if we want or delete them permanently. Remember, when you delete posts permanently, that means it's taken out of the database. But WordPress is database. So then you can't recover it. So let's add a new post. Name it anything we want. And let's go to Lorem Ipsum and grab some dummy text. And place that in there. Now with posts, you've got post formats. These are to do with um, how you present certain posts. Meaning, you can perhaps create an image gallery and then have your post showcasing certain images. Now, to activate all this, your theme must support this option. As well as you need to make certain tweaks for the templates which are beyond the scope of this course. Categories we already know and if we do not categorize we know that it should default to uncategorized version till we place them in the right category. Now we can view it in text version or visual version. Visual is how it will look. From here, we've got the normal um, formatting options. We can insert links to our posts. Let's insert one sample. Or we can remove the link. We can add media to our posts. Let's add one. Let's add an image that we uploaded, but we can always upload a new one from our computer. Let's insert it. Now that's inserted. Now, as you can see at this stage, it's just showing me uh, the visual side of things. If I press on text, you will see this is what is making that HTML image um, show. Surely you don't have to learn all that stuff because that's what WordPress is all about. But it's only good to know certain elements as your website grows. So let's place them, as you can see, that's defaulted to uncategorized. That's why I suggested to you to leave that in place so that you know you're categorizing things properly. Tags are individual keywords or set of keywords that you want to associate your post to. It can be anything that you want. Sample keyword. Let's add that. We can have more than one tag. We can feature a specific image if we want as well. Let's add a different one. We can give all attributes to that image. Or title and captions. When we feature an image, that shows up at the beginning of the post. We can publish it if we want, or we can save as draft. 
let's save this as draft now let's go back to all posts now as you can see that's in draft mode that means it's not published it's not live yet we can quickly edit it if we want and make changes accordingly or we could go in and re-edit the post we can set different settings pending review if you're working with more than one person as in one administrator who is taking care of your website you can leave it as status pending review you may actually use this just to separate things as in separate the status of it so you know what needs to be done you can also set your posts to public or even password protect certain posts or keep them private surely these are if you're collaborating with other people and so on or you can simply keep them as in make the visibility public you can publish immediately or schedule a later date so let's cancel that let's cancel that as well so let's just now publish it now we can view the post that's our featured image and that's the image that we placed within the post and we know date admin um, category tags are now associated with that post we can edit it from here or through this link here both will take us to the same place for editing the post as we now know it is very easy to create posts using WordPress and also do many other things as far as settings draft mode and so on I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.